Hey y'all, my name is Martin Malalu and I'm a librarian with LA County Library. I use they, them pronouns. Today, I want to share with you the work of Anthony Fiesta. So, in his debut book, After Parties, so share short fictional accounts of the lives of Cambodian Americans. The stories in this book explore topics such as religion, sexuality, class, race, gender, and family through humor, complex relationships, and captivating prose. The impact of immigration and the history of Cambodia play large roles throughout all of the fictional narratives in After Parties. While all of the stories in this book are worth reading, I enjoyed the opening story the most. Titled Three Women of Chuck's Donuts, this story, also published in The New Yorker, is intriguing and suspenseful. One woman, Soti, attempts to run a donut shop with her two young daughters, Tevi, 16, and Kaylee, 12. The daughters become captivated by a man who returns night after night, orders an apple fritter, but never eats it. He sits and stares out the window for some time before leaving without another word. The children, of course, stare and speculate. Why doesn't this man eat his donut? What is he waiting for? Should they ask him what his deal is? Soti, on the other hand, worries the man is there to collect a debt unpaid by her ex-husband. Read the story to find out more about this strange situation. Unfortunately, So passed away unexpectedly in 2020 at the age of 28 before his book was released. Several pieces have been published about him as the sudden loss of this spectacular writer not only deeply affected his friends and family, but also the larger literary, queer, and immigrant communities. Check out After Parties by Anthony Viesna So to read more. And I hope you enjoyed our short story video series for Pride Month. And I hope that you check out other Pride programming that we have at lacountylibrary.org slash pride. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel to stay up to date on all of the new videos we put out. Bye for now.